Ibrahim Tror is becoming a true revolutionary leader, just like General George Washington did in 1776 for the United States. General Abraham Tror is doing same in 2024, and with recent progress in Burkina Faso's fight against terrorism, there is an overwhelming feeling of momentum as Ibrahim Tror takes decisive steps towards speeding up several ongoing infrastructure and development projects. As an observer, it's clear that Tror understands the importance of strong infrastructure in driving economic growth and promoting national stability. One of the projects featured in the video is the revival of Burkina Faso's passenger train service, which marks a significant milestone after years of inactivity. Tror hopes that reactivating this vital transportation link will improve accessibility, facilitate trade, and catalyze economic activity along the railway routes. Burkina Faso's decision to withdraw from the economic community of West African states, ICAWAS, provides an opportunity for the country to assert its autonomy and prioritize key infrastructure initiatives that are aligned with its development goals. From my perspective, Tror's administration's quick action to expedite these projects demonstrates a commitment to capitalizing on the current environment of improved security and stability for the country's advancement. Burkina Faso's strategic infrastructure investment aims to improve connectivity, attract investment, and boost regional and global competitiveness. Tror's leadership hopes that by working together, they can lay the groundwork for long-term economic growth and prosperity for all Burkinaves. Ibrahim Tror is committed to ensuring that infrastructure projects are completed on time and efficiently. To accomplish this, officials from the president's office are strategically deployed to make unannounced visits to construction sites throughout Burkina Faso. This hands-on approach reflects Tror's sense of urgency and dedication to quick action. Tror emphasizes the importance of projects moving quickly to meet the population's urgent needs, recognizing that every moment counts. Maintaining close oversight of construction projects is critical for ensuring that resources are used efficiently and projects are completed on schedule. Tror's goal is to ensure that infrastructure developments are completed quickly and ready to serve the people of Burkina Faso by closely monitoring progress and addressing any challenges that arise. One notable initiative spearheaded by Tror's administration is the construction of a 45-kilometer road connecting Burkina Faso's third-largest city to several towns that have been liberated from terrorists. The ongoing construction of the 45-kilometer road, which is nearly 65% complete, demonstrates Ibrahim Tror's unwavering commitment to improving accessibility and security in Burkina Faso's conflict-affected regions. This ambitious project exemplifies Tror's determination to bridge the gap between urban centers and previously marginalized communities, promoting economic development and stability in areas long plagued by conflict and neglect. The road improves connectivity and infrastructure in these regions, facilitating the movement of goods and people while also creating new opportunities for socioeconomic growth and community empowerment. The construction company in charge of the project demonstrated dedication and commitment, reflecting Tror's emphasis on accountability and progress. Despite the challenges that come with such large-scale endeavors, Tror's administration remains determined to deliver results and fulfill its responsibilities to the people of Burkina Faso. In addition to improving road infrastructure, Tror has directed officials to conduct thorough assessments of state-owned factories to ensure that progress continues demonstrating his proactive approach to overseeing development initiatives. Furthermore, Tror's administration's successful completion of a new railway system demonstrates its commitment to improving transportation infrastructure, facilitating the efficient movement of goods and raw materials between manufacturing centers and markets, and driving economic growth throughout the country. Tror's collaborative efforts demonstrate his leadership and vision for a more prosperous and interconnected Burkina Faso. The completion and operationalization of the railway, which will facilitate the operation of the gas plant, represents a significant milestone in Burkina Faso's infrastructure development. This achievement, entirely carried out by the National de Hydrocarbons, demonstrates the country's commitment to improving its industrial capabilities and ensuring energy security. Over the course of five months, this transformative project, 
overseen by the management company for Burkina Faso's railway heritage, has come to fruition, demonstrating the country's ability to undertake complex engineering projects. The newly completed railway has 54 kilogram rails that adhere to international norms and standards. This railway development, funded entirely by the National Tsunami Hydrocarbons and costing over a billion CFA francs, is critical to operationalizing the liquid hydrocarbon deposit from tsunami to penny. The depot's strategic location responds to the imperative of meeting local populations' energy consumption needs while ensuring the safety and security of flammable materials during storage and transportation. Before the industrial railway project was completed, Ibrahim Tror embarked on a major mission to restore Burkina Faso's passenger train service, which was a vital lifeline between the capital city and the bustling hub of Bobo. After nearly four years out of service, the passenger train's return has sparked joy and excitement among residents. The familiar sound of the train whistle echoes once more at the capital city's railway station, creating a palpable sense of anticipation. The resumption of the passenger train, which travels as far as the Ivory Coast border, represents more than just transportation. It represents progress, connectivity, and the restoration of essential services for Burkina Faso residents. The resumption of passenger train service has sparked a sense of unity and celebration, with several dozen people gathered at the station to welcome its return. For travelers, the reinstatement of passenger train service provides a dependable and convenient means of getting to their destinations, whether for business, leisure, or personal reasons. The train's return represents a significant step toward restoring normalcy and convenience to travel within Burkina Faso, fostering a sense of connection and belonging among its people. Ibrahim Tror's advocacy for the resumption of passenger train service demonstrates his unwavering commitment to the Burkina people. Burkina Faso's Prosperity and Progress Construction engineers in Bobo Dialesu, the country's second largest city, provide detailed explanations about the scope and progress of the expandable tomato factory. Once completed, this administrative building will be able to house approximately 40 offices, as well as changing rooms and canteens, providing a pleasant working environment for factory employees. Also, the presence of an infirmary open to the river within the industrial compartment demonstrates a thoughtful approach to employee well-being and safety. With the project's physical execution rate exceeding 50%, the project team feels a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. Equipment procurement is underway, with shipment set to begin within the next few weeks, followed by installation in three weeks. This rapid progress demonstrates the commitment to delivering tangible results in a timely manner. Even though the task is yet to be completed, there is optimism about the future because there are very committed, young, and motivated teams aiming to achieve the desired results. Everything is urgent, and it may not always be necessary to extend deadlines. Work must be completed as quickly as possible in order to put these infrastructures into service and provide the people with the necessary products. Looking ahead, the engineers hope to complete the construction by the end of June, with the first boxes of tomatoes expected from the Bobo factory in July. This timeline highlights the project's impact on local agricultural production and economic growth, indicating a bright future for the community and stakeholders involved. Ibrahim Chor's efforts to expedite infrastructure projects and promote industrial development are not only admirable but also critical to Burkina Faso's long-term success. As the country faces numerous challenges, Chor's vision and leadership serve as catalysts for progress, propelling initiatives that empower communities, stimulate economic growth, and strengthen Burkina Faso's position on the global stage. This strategic approach demonstrates Burkina Faso's determination to capitalize on recent successes and transform them into tangible improvements in infrastructure and development. Tror hopes to lay the groundwork for Burkina Faso's long-term economic growth and prosperity by prioritizing initiatives to improve transportation networks and industrial infrastructure. Tror's proactive leadership is critical in guiding Burkina Faso through this transitional period and into a future marked by progress, resilience, and prosperity. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a subscribe so more people can see this.